Hey everyone from CryptoWise, a platform for the news, reviews and the updates on the blockchain. I am Sarah and I'll be your host. Before we start, I would like to say that if you enjoy our content, please do not forget to give us a like. You can also subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below. And besides, none of the information given in this video should be taken as financial advice. It has been a long time now since the people realized the potential of the gaming industry. This growth is boosted by the technological advancements, especially in the mobile department. As the technologies that we need to play games became more accessible, the growth of gaming industry reached unseen levels. Accordingly, its market size has also grown, and in fact, mobile industry is growing faster than the console gaming. In terms of publishing games, developers who are responsible for creativity can fall short in selling their games. At that point, publishers are needed to do the PR, marketing, and funding. Marblex wants to keep the same model in the blockchain, and that will of course come with its differences. Ownership of assets is the most important change. In such games, with the implementation of NFTs, players will actually own their items as tokens, and that will, of course, bring an actual value into gaming. That means the game should operate with a blockchain. Marblex will create different blockchains for each game, highly optimizing them accordingly. This will return users as a much smoother experience and lower gas fees. Users participating in the Marblex ecosystem will encounter key ecosystem creators. Key parties are publishers, game developers, and service providers. As a service provider operating the token ecosystem, users can profit and developers can enhance game contents and publishers can maximize in-app payment revenue. So everyone will win together. Marblex will bring games of various genres, including MMO role-playing game, CCG, sports, and casual into the ecosystem instead of limiting to a single genre. For everything to operate smoothly, as Marblex introduced their own token, MBX, they'll also have a multi-chain support. They will also have a layer chain structure consisting of service chain, bridge chain, and public chain. This will not only help stabilizing the prices and adding value to the public coins, but it will also create an easier process. The MBX token is a public token that has a market value in the public chain. It serves the top level currency within the token ecosystem. The MBX cell token is a bridge for connection and circulation and exists only within a private chain ecosystem. The MBX token ecosystem is built based on the inflow of ecosystem participants and their activities. The greatest distinction of MBX ecosystem with the other ecosystem is burning fees. By burning 50% of fees generated from blockchain services, the token value is preserved. The remaining 50% of fees generated from transactions are reserved in the growth fund. A total of 1 billion tokens will be issued, and you can see the token details on their white paper. In terms of roadmap, they do not have a very detailed one, nor a long one, but they clearly mark the games that they are planning to publish. In fact, they have already published the first game, which is A3, still alive. Marblex also has a wallet application for games, which is available both on Android and iOS. On CoinMarketCap, as all tokens right now, Marblex is currently losing value, but they are a coin with high market cap and good potential. If you are interested in Marblex, you can join their social media accounts such as Twitter and Telegram. This is Sarah and you watched CryptoWise. We will see you on the next video. Until then, take care.